those four, 22. Against, nil. Abstention, nil. Distinguished colleagues, by this voting, the following nominees for appointment as commissioners into the River State Executive Council are hereby confirmed. They are Zacchaeus Adango, SAN, DSSRS, Dr. Jacobson Mbina, DSSRS, Mr. Gift Wallow, Mrs. Inime Chiwewo Aguma, DSSRS, Engineer Chukwe Meka Woke, DSSRS, Professor Prince Chinedu Mom, DSSRS, Dr. George Kelly D. Alabo, DSSRS, Honorable Isaac Kamalo, DSSRS, and Engineer Austin Ben Choma, DSSRS. The clerk will forward a letter which will indicate the resolution of this 10th Assembly to His Excellency the Governor so that these nominees that have been so confirmed can take their oaths of office as commissioners into the River State Executive Council. Clerk do so immediately after this sitting. Distinguished colleagues, let me also seize this opportunity to express our displeasure with the way staff of Government House refused to receive um, communication from this August Assembly. And it's important that I state this so that the House will take notice of the recalcitrant behavior of the staff of the Government House towards this August Assembly, so that we we'll take note of it. Uh, the River South Assembly was, or rather, the River South Assembly has the mandate from the 1999 Constitution to make laws for the good governance of this state. And communi official communication from this house, when passed through the office of the clerk, ought to get to the governor. But we have noticed in re the recent past that staff of government house choose to send communication to us from the governor, but refuse to take the one to the governor from us. And let me place it on record, so that it will be recorded in the hands that, that the staff of government house, who was sent by the governor to bring this letter to us, brought this letter, and when he was asked to receive a letter to the governor, he declined to collect. So. They prefer to send communication to us, but refuse to take communication from us. And I need this thing to be on record and let it be in the hands that the staff who brought this communication refused to take communication meant for the governor. And we have resorted to courier services to be sending mails to the governor. And it's important that we let reverse people know that this is the situation. But we we'll remain on the third and we'll continue to do our work. If this continues, a situation where the office of the governor will refuse to take communication from us, we will also stop receiving communication from the governor. And it's good that we make this very, very clear. The same election, on the same day we ran to serve reverse people, in the same election they also ran to be in the office. And we need to work for the interests of the people of River States. And it's important that we do so bearing in mind that it is the people who will gain or lose when we choose not to do what we're supposed to do in line with the Constitution and all statutes of the River State House of Assembly or any other one set out by the National Assembly. So distinguished colleagues, I felt I should make this thing clear. But the, the bills passed by this House, which is the financial autonomy bill which we passed, and the amendment to the local government law, we have since sent that to the government House. They also acknowledge receipts of that one. But subsequent uh, communication, they have refused to collect. But we'll watch and see if this trend continues, like I said, we will cease to receive communication from the governor if they continue in this uh, state. I just want to believe that 
um, it doesn't uh, it doesn't happen again. Let me believe that it won't happen again, and we pray it doesn't happen again. So, distinguished will I had to make this remark so that you would know that uh, the office of the clerk is doing the needful, and so that everybody will know that uh, our resolutions here are promptly forwarded. Now we are going to forward the resolution from this house confirming these nominees. We'll wait and see. If they don't receive it, we'll also let you know. If they come to receive our own, if they come to bring their own communication and refuse to take ours, distinguished colleagues, do I have your leave to decline the receipts of further communication if they choose not to take ours? Do I have your leave? Yes. So, clerk, if they refuse to take correspondence from the house, don't take any correspondence from them. Thank you.